Mr. Gates! Morning, Stanley. What are you doing down there? Changing my muffler. Want to help me out? Why must you always perform these filthy little tasks in full view of the entire hospital? My apologies, good gentlemen. Good morning, Dr. Gates. Hi, Jabari. How's the chic? Stronger every day, thanks to you. I understand that you're the yacht doctor. But if you have a few moments to spare, His Excellency will appreciate sharing them with you. Sure, uh, as soon as I change my clothes. Of course. You know the Sheik? Inside and out, I reconstructed his bile ducts a few days ago, remember? Oh, I know, but I mean, I, you, you know him personally. You know, Gonzo, His Excellency and I should really have a chance to get acquainted. Don't you think? I mean, once he realizes who my father Here, is... Here, hold this, will you? Sure, I've got to watch that. Gates! Abdominal wounds could be going into shock. Mm. He's probably bleeding into his belly. Okay, he'll have to be explored. Start an IV. Call the lab and notify Dr. McIntyre. Room three, quickly, let's go. Music, Your Excellency, it may be disturbing the other patients. If you say so, Dr. Chabari. Your word, Dr. Gates, is my command. How are you feeling? Oh, like a man reborn. I owe you my life, my young friend. I wish there was an adequate way to demonstrate my gratitude. Well, you've already donated a half a million dollars to the hospital fund. Isn't that enough? A pit. My uh, shikdom may be small and relatively obscure, but we are doing extremely well. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I like my gift to you to be something more personal, something you enjoy having. A heron, perhaps? Your own hospital? The state of Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, just get well and stay well. You're a very difficult man to please, Doctor. Well, my work is my pleasure. Anything else would be superfluous. But thanks again for your offers. A man that young needs more than his work. Yes, Your Excellency. Ha mm. ha, uh -huh. I have it. What are his vital signs? Pressure 86 over 64. Pulse 110. Well, we've got to get that pressure up. Hang a unit of plasma and hang a unit of blood as soon as it gets there. Hi, John. Hey, what do you got, Stan? It's a penetrating wound to the abdomen. It's mm. quite a bit of bleeding. Mm-hmm. He's probably lacerated the liver or the mesentery. Mm -hmm. May have injured the bone, too. What's his name? Nick Dobbs. Nick? Can you hear me? Mm. Now, Dr. McIntyre. You're in San Francisco Memorial Hospital. How do you feel? Lousy. How did I get into this mess? Well, apparently you were riding on your roller skates and you took a nasty fall. You impaled yourself on a picket fence. Terrific. Better call Wally. Who's Wally? I got it. Best first base coach in the league. He's already been notified. He's on his way. Okay, Nick, there's nothing to be afraid of. We're gonna do a little surgery on you, but uh, we'll be pretty good at that sort of thing. Gonna make you well again. Can I talk you out of the surgery? Afraid not. Better get some rest now. I'll see you later. Let's get him out of here. Gonzo around? I think he's in the Titanic, but it's his day off. I tell him to stand by. If we have to go in, I want him to assist. Hi. Greetings. 
Greetings. Who are you? My name is Aaliyah. Aaliyah? Aaliyah. Uh... Aaliyah. Yes, uh, sit down. Relax. Uh, the coffee's cold. Would you like a beer? No, thank you. No, you'd probably prefer wine. We don't drink. Ah. <laughs> okay, Aaliyah. What's the gag? My father, the Sheik, has sent me here. I am yours. My what? Your wife, maidservant, slave, whatever you wish. You saved my father's life. In return, he has given me to you as a gift. <laughs> uh, that's, that's one hell of a gift. But what, what about you? I mean, don't you have anything to say about this? Your will is my will. Oh. Oh, uh, you make that, you make that sound very tempting. But there must be more to it than that. I mean, this really is really a meaningful relationship, you know? Uh, Aaliyah, I'd better take you back. Oh, no, 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 no. My father would be highly insulted. Aren't you insulted by this kind of treatment? You do not know my father. He is capable of terrible things. Uh, I've got to get to the hospital, Aaliyah. You know, I never thought that I would be uh, saying this to a beautiful woman. But I want you to catch the 10 o'clock camel and go home. You got it? Go home. Now look, I don't want you following me around. Do you think I enjoy this? I hate walking around in my bare feet. I'm always stepping on things. Then go home. I cannot. My father would be furious. Okay. Go on back to the Titanic. We'll work this out later. Mr. Dobbs? Yeah. Dr. McIntyre. Uh, nice meeting you, doctor. How's Nick? Well, he's stable right now, but he's going to need some surgery. He, um, he's bleeding inside, and we've got to get in there and stop it as quickly as we can. That kid. That poor kid. Uh, if it's any consolation to you, we've, uh, we've done this operation hundreds of times. Our uh, <clears throat> betting average is excellent. You a baseball fan? Enough to know who Wally Dobbs is. Best first base coach in the league. Where'd you hear that? Nick told me. What team are you with? The Cubs. Chicago? Stockton. You're looking at a Bush leaguer. I never got out of the minors. But that kid of mine, he keeps trying to convince me I'm a star. That's the kind of kid he is. I just wish there was something I could do to help him. Well, as a matter of fact, you can. Uh, you could just uh, sign this uh, consent form for surgery. Sure. Look, Doc, is there a... Is there anything else I can do, like, I don't know, donate some blood or something? Oh, absolutely. Anything you donate helps replenish our blood bank. Okay. Where do I go? Uh, just check in with the nurse right over here. Doctor, can I... Can I see Nick before you operate? All right, but just for a minute. We've got to get him an OR as soon as possible. I better be going. 
woman. Do you have to? Yeah, the doctors told me they didn't want me to stay too long. But I'll be hanging around if you need anything, okay? Dad? Yeah. Do you think... Do you think you could hold me? Just, just for a minute. Pressure stable. More attraction. Can get that bleeder, will you? Got it. Clamp. Not a clamp. Okay, there it is. Yeah. That mesentery is lacerated. Take a look at that. Oh, man. What a mess. Yeah, the spleen has got to go. Better hurry, fellas. We're on our fourth unit of blood. All right, well, hang in there. We got a long way to go. Ivy nurse to four west staff. Ivy nurse to four west. Dobbs. How is he, doctor? Surgery went very well. That's good to hear. Well, I have to level with you, Mr. Dobbs. The boy is still in serious condition. All we can do is wait and watch him very carefully. We'll make it. He has to. He's makes my whole life. Buy a cup of coffee? That machine didn't work. Yeah, well, I know one that does. Starch, I got a problem. A little while ago, I walked into the Titanic, right? Uh-huh. And there's this beautiful girl standing there wearing nothing but gauze and a silver bell in her navel and telling me she's all mine. Now, what am I supposed to do? Well, if you have to ask, you'll never know. No, she was a gift from that sheep we operated on. Now, if I send her back, he may get very upset and cancel that half-million-dollar donation. Gonzo, who signed that consent form for Nick's surgery? His father. Well, if you mean Wally Dobbs, we're in trouble. What do you mean? Well, look at these lab reports. According to the blood types, Mr. Dobbs isn't Nick's father. That's a description of a boy who's been missing for over a year now. What are you saying? I'm a kidnapper. Oh, no, wait a minute. Nobody's accusing you. He is accusing me of something. Under the circumstances, you're obligated what circumstances? to notify the police. Police, listen. Look, it's just a routine get, procedure. I'm getting out of this hospital right now. No, he's too sick for that. He's my kid. I can do with him what I want. You better call the police. Look. Hey, Wally, why don't we go upstairs and talk about it, huh? It was a uh, rainy night. The game was canceled when I was walking home from the stadium. I noticed this, this kid all soaking wet, huddled down by some garbage cans. And what was I supposed to do, you know, ignore him? He was burning up with fever. So what did you do? I, I took him home. Cleaned him up and fed him. In a couple of days, everything was all right. Didn't you ask him where he came from? Yeah, I asked him. He said his parents were dead, that he was running away from the youth guidance center. He hated it. It was full of half-pint crooks, muggers and pimps. Well, I couldn't send him back to a place like that. Don't you think you should have notified the police? Yeah, I thought about it. But, I mean, what's the point? He doesn't have any parents. 
And me, I have no family of my own. So it was kind of nice for both of us. We both had someone, a family. What did you do when the team went on the road? I took him with me. At first, I told everybody he was my nephew. And then after a while, uh, in private, he started to call me dad. I liked it. I was treating him like he was my own son. And as far as I'm concerned, he is my son. You ask Nick, he feels the same way. I guess I'm going to lose him, aren't I? I don't know what's going to happen, Wally. But uh, why don't you just stick around in case we need you, huh? I'll be here as long as Nick's here. You know, I just as soon forget all about this lab report. Yeah, so would I, but we can't. Why not? They're both happy. Look, all we know about Nick is what he told Dobbs. We don't know if that story is true. Well, maybe we shouldn't know. Maybe it's none of our damn business. Give me the police. Now, look, Trapper, I don't think... Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Dr. Gates. Not now, Jabari. Uh, Six Excellency, he demands your immediate presence. A matter of extreme urgency. Uh, give me the youth guidance center, please. I will tolerate no more of this accidental rebellion and disrespect. Aisha, you are my daughter, a princess. I expect... Ah, Dr. Gates, welcome, my young friend. I assume that you're pleased with your gift. I'm overcome. Then I, too, am pleased. You two young people, you look so very beautiful together. You belong together. We must not delay this marriage a moment too long. Uh, uh, marriage? Father, we hardly know each other. What better way to become familiar? My staff and I will handle the arrangements. Now, now wait a minute. You see, I... No, 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 no. This is my pleasure. A small, intimate wedding, nothing pretentious. Just some of my wives and a few hundred relatives and subjects. Excuse me, Your Excellency. I want to discuss this with the uh, bride. Look, a joke's a joke, but this is getting a little crazy. I don't dig this any more than you do, Doc. What did you say? I don't dig this any more than you do, Doc. Wait a minute. What do you think I get my kids accent? walking around in this that ridiculous you... outfit and Hold walking on. barefoot? If I step my foot one down. more time. Wait a minute. Huh? Who are you? And what are you? I am a reluctant princess. That's what I am. I was born over there, but I've been going to school over here since I was ten. I'm an exchange student from Berkeley, and I don't want to marry you any more than you want to marry me. Well, then why is your father pushing this thing? My father is the product of another world. He's still living in another time. New ideas can be very painful to him or anyone around him. Isn't there someplace else we can talk? In here. Dr. Teal, please call your office. Talk. Well, I met this guy at Berkeley. I love him very much. He's studying nutrition and he's working at Anna's Nirvana. Anna's Nirvana? Anna's Nirvana. It's a health food store near Golden Gate Park. Yeah. My father's never met him, but he hates him. Why? Because Herbie's not one of us. He doesn't dig all that old traditional stuff my father hangs on to. I think... That that's the reason behind this marriage thing. My father is a very devious man. And he'd do anything to break up my affair with Herbie. Well, can't we reason with the Sheik? Just tell him how we feel? Oh, no, no, you can't do that. He'd start a lot of trouble for you. And he'd send me home and put me to work on a pipeline or something. Okay. We'll play along with him for the time being until I can figure out a way to get us out of this mess. Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry about everything. You saved my father's life. You deserve to be treated a lot better than this. So do you. Gonzo? Get dressed, pal. The police have brought us a visitor. Who? Wilma Brent. They've been looking for her since yesterday. Nick's mother? His real mother? The police told me the whole story. May I see him? 
Well, the uh, boy has had major surgery, Mrs. Brent. I mean, he's still heavily sedated. Yes, but is he all right? Yes, all things considered, he's doing just fine. He's been gone for 14 months. He ran away while I was at the film festival in Cannes. Heaven only knows what he's been through. He may have been kidnapped or worse. No, Wally Dobbs is not a kidnapper, Mrs. Brent. He's given Nick a lot of love. But don't you think I've given him love? Mrs. Brent, I want you to know something about Wally Dobbs. The man has been very good to your boy. And Nick looks at him as a kind of uh, surrogate father. But I'm his mother, and I have been losing my mind looking for him. He's ill now, and I want to see him. How much longer do I have to wait? Come on. You can see him right now. But um, don't get him upset or excited. He's got to remain quiet. To me. How are you feeling? What are you doing here? I heard about your accident. This is where I belong. Isn't it? With you? Are you all right? Are you in pain? Nicholas. Did you marry that guy? Which one? The Italian guy. No, we're still working on it. You'll like him, though, Nick. He's got a villain Capri. Mm -hmm. What's his batting average? What? When the housekeeper called me in France and told me you ran away from home, it was like my life ended. What? I mean, you still have that guy with the villa, the other one with a private jet. Well, for somebody who just had surgery, you throw a pretty mean punch. I came here to be with you. I didn't come to defend myself. I thought you understood why I'm out in the jungle setting man traps. I can't model much longer, and you know it. We need somebody to give us a good home, to give us a good life. Nick, you need a father. Uh, oh, here I got a father. Wally Dobbs. Oh, Nick. Let's get Wally in here. Wally. Listen, I'm sure that Mr. Dobbs has been very good to you, but you are my son. Well, you are not his. Wally, Carrie, we gotta get Wally here. Get Wally. Just Wally. Wally. Please. Oh! Uh, Nick! Uh, oh, my God. Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, please hurry! Doctor, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what he did. Mr. Brent, outside, uh, please. What's happened? Now the whole wound is separated. We gotta get him back to surgery. Want some coffee? No, thanks. Let's make 
machine didn't work anyway. We darn it's working. Congratulations. Thanks. Sprint. Oh, how is he? He's fine. Uh, the repair work took a little longer than we expected, but uh, it went very well. And do you think that... What happened to him? Uh, he was a little more active than he should have been, and he broke his sutures, but we keep him quiet. He'll be all right. Are you Mr. Dobbs? Yes, ma'am. And you? I'm sorry, Mr. Dobbs. This is uh, Mrs. Brent, Nick's mother. Nick's mother? Nick doesn't have a mother. Oh, yes, he does, Mr. Dobbs. I guess I should thank you for taking such good care of him. Curiously Don't enough, I'm really not very grateful. You've kept him away from me for more than a year. Look, lady, I swear to God, I didn't even Do you understand existed. what you've done? Do you realize I could have you arrested for kidnapping? He ran away from you, lady. He said you were dead. He I must have had a good excuse reason. Excuse me. You understand that? Hold, you have hold to it! If you really care about the boy, you'll work it out. But if you go at it like this, you'll just tear him apart. You can leave, Mr. Dobbs. Nicholas doesn't need you anymore. I'm not leaving till I know Nick's all right. Aaliyah's missing. She's been gone for two days. Where is she? That beats the hell out of me. And get your goons out of here. They'll frighten my pet gorilla. She was giving to you in good faith. The sheik holds you responsible for her welfare. I suggest you find her soon. Hey, Jabari, wait a minute. Have a good day. Good morning. Nick's awake now. How does he feel? Well, apparently he had a very good night. He's much stronger. Oh, that's good. That's good. May I see him? Not right now, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. He's been asking for Mr. Dobbs. I don't believe it. I'm his mother. You're going to have a stranger in to see him? He may be less of a stranger than you are, Mrs. Brent. Listen, Mr. Dobbs, I've been a fighter all my life. I don't much like it. But when a man steals my son and he turns him against me... I didn't do that. Yes, you did. And as long as you're around, I intend to fight you. I have the law on my side. And I'm going to do whatever is necessary to get Nick out of your life. Dr. Branca, please call your office. She's right, isn't she? Hi, Slugger. How's it going? Pretty good if I don't bust my stitches again. You sore at me? For busting your stitches? I'm lying about my mom. You lied about a lot of things, didn't you? Your mother, juvenile hall. What'd you do that for? I wanted to make sure you kept me around. That was wrong, kid. I can't help it. I like you more than her. Look. She's your mother. She loves you very much. She's a nice lady. She's where you belong. I belong with you. Nick. It's an okay contract. I'm not letting you put me out on waivers. I'm going to tell you the truth. I knew you were kind of me all along. So I was just babysitting where your mother was in Spain. France. Wherever. Look, but your mom's back. You're gonna be fine. You don't need me. Yes, I do. Well, I don't need you. Well, you're just pulling a number on me, aren't you? 
Aren't you, Wally? Let me give you the facts, kid. You got your life. I got mine. Take care of yourself, pal. Wally. Am I ever going to see you again? Yeah, come on out to the ballpark. I'll be coaching first base. How'd it go? You can tell Mrs. Brent. He's all hers. Dr. Oman, report to Burke. on the market. It's made from pure apricot pits and watermelon seeds. It does wonders for your skin. But I have to warn you, it does have a tendency to attract fruit flies. Well, I'll try it. <laughs> you won't be sorry. That'll be three dollars even. Okay. Thanks, Kirby. Help you, sir. Yeah, my name's Gates. I'm a doctor at Gates, Sarah. right. Yeah, you operated on Leah's father. Right. I'm looking for Leah. Liver you know trouble, wasn't it? You know, with the proper diet, would have never happened. Two tablespoons of barracuda oil now, twice look, look, a day. Look, I'm on your side. I want her to marry you. Now, where is she? Back there in the organic produce. Oh, great. I didn't know you made house calls. Your father is looking for you. Big deal. What are you going to do? As soon as Anna gets back to take care of the store, Herbie and I are splitting. Zoom like that. It won't work. Your father has all the facilities to track you down. I don't care. I am tired of being humiliated and treated like a semi-human... Why don't you tell him that? Impossible. I'd end up sweeping camel dung for the rest of my life. Why are you getting mixed up in this anyway? I don't intend to bother you. His Excellency is holding me responsible for you. He claims I own you, and if I don't bring you back... Help you, gentlemen? No, thank you. We found exactly what we want. How are you feeling? Anything hurt? Why, you haven't touched your lunch. It looks good, too. Would you like some help with it? I'll send in a nurse or an orderly to help you. Well, I'll leave it here just in case you change your mind, hmm? Oh, by the way, your mother's outside. I'll bet you'd like to see her, right? Don't let her in here. But she's your mother. Don't let her in here. I don't want her in here. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you're leaving? Uh, racquetball three times a week. The key to cardiovascular efficiency and aching muscles. I'm worried about Nick, doctor. He doesn't eat or talk or anything. He's just shut down. He even banished me from his room. Because of Dobbs? Yeah, well, he's a bad guy, all right. Found your kid in the streets, took him in, fed him, clothed him, gave him an identity and a home. And I didn't? I don't know. Did you? All right. I know. I spent a lot of time carousing around Europe, going to the right parties for the wrong reason. I was so busy looking for a husband, I lost my son. What can I do to win him back? Ask Wally Dobbs. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. He may not be much of a ball player, but he's batting a thousand with Nick. Look, I couldn't possibly ask him to. Staying at the Bayview Motel on Tulare Street. Doctor, I this... Excuse me, Mrs. Brennan, I'm late for my game. 
you have two options, Aliyah. You marry Dr. Case as quickly as it can be arranged, or you return to our homeland and remain there permanently. Father, please try to understand. Two options. Make your choice. Your Excellency, it was your choice to send Aliyah to school here in America. Your choice, not hers. You wanted her to be educated in modern schools, to learn new ideas, new concepts, new values. And now you're punishing her for it. That doesn't matter. Your Excellency, I know you love Aaliyah very much. You want her to be ha happy. But she would never be happy as my wife. I'm not the man she loves. That doesn't matter. Your daughter's happiness doesn't matter to you? You can't possibly mean that. You are admired and respected as a dutiful, responsible family man. In your country, a father's first obligation is the happiness of his children. Now, how would you ever live with yourself knowing you had inflicted such misery upon your child? Look at your daughter, Your Excellency. Forget about the difference in generations and values. Look at the love in her eyes. The love she feels for that young man over there, that is the key to her happiness. Now, any father who would refuse to bless that union is... Well, I don't mean to be disrespectful, sir. I think you've said enough. Aliyah. Yes, father? You truly love that man? Oh, yes, father. With all my heart. Incredible. And if I give you my blessings, you'll truly be happy? Oh, yes, father. And you, Doctor? You expect me to overlook centuries of traditions and protocol? Why not? And if I choose to reject your argument? I'd make another pitch. <laughs> but not quite so corny. Very well, my children. You have my blessing. Oh, thank you, Father. What else can I say? Thanks, Doc. And from now on, you get all your alfalfa sprouts wholesale. Fifteen years. She hasn't done that in fifteen years. Second base, get one! First it, home! Mr. Dobbs! Yeah. Here, Joe, take over for me. What, you want to see me? Yeah. The man at the motel told me I could find you here. I've been looking for you since yesterday. I need your help. You don't need my help, lady. You're the one holding all the cards. Look, this is very difficult for me. What about me? I cut that kid right out of my guts and I left him for you. I can't give you any more than that, lady. He's dying. He's just given up. Since you've gone away, he doesn't eat, doesn't move, won't talk. What do you want, lady? Just what in the hell do you want? I don't know. I swear, I don't know. Any complaints, Nick? I think that operation affected his hearing. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Let's set up for those new audio tests. The new ones? They're awfully painful, aren't they? I'm terrible. I hate to put the kid through all that agony, but I don't want him to go deaf. I'm not deaf. Oh, well, now that's a relief. Now, what's all this stuff about you not eating? I'm not hungry. Oh, well, I guess we better set up for the intravenous feeding. What's that? We give you your food in your veins. The orange juice is all right, but it gets a little uncomfortable when we get to the steak and potatoes. Get her out of here. If she goes, I go. I thought we were finished, you and me. So did I. But your mother has different ideas. Look, she said you can visit me, or I can visit you anytime I want to. And you can go on the road with me when you're not in school. Honest? Yeah. Honest. I figure we can all get to know each other better that way. What about that Italian guy? The one you were going to marry? Oh, him. He left me a year ago. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you.
Come on, loosen up, kid. I told you she's a nice lady. sent him some organic dates from a place called Anna's Nirvana. And I loved them. Listen, if you fellas need uh, any oil or anything, you just let me know. Hmm? I'll put in a good word. 